the woman started her yakking on the day that she was born. And without a doubt, she'll keep it up. So Gabriel blows his horn. They're yakety yak, the yak, yak, yak. It'll drive a man insane. Man's got everything to lose, and he's got nothing to gain. No chitter and chatter when there's nothing the matter. And a man does nothing right. Just yakety yak, the yak, 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 away in the middle of the night. I'm hungry as a bear. You think she cares? She's too busy on the party line. How y'all doing? Oh, we're doing just fine. I swear, sometimes I get so mad I could shoot the man that invented the telephone. And yet I dream of the day when man and wife can be happy again. And yet confide, her tongue's not tied in the middle and loose at both ends. And she'll love and she'll honor. She'll be happy too. Oh me, oh my. Oh, happy day! But look, who's kidding who? I don't know why it is, but I remember that particular poem from when I was very, very, very young. I haven't been able to look it up. I have no idea who wrote it. I wish I did and could give them credit. Uh, and, and it was intended to be amusing <clears throat> uh, when it was written then and as it's recited now. But for some reason, it's been running through my mind all day today. And the funny thing is, I haven't really talked to many people today. I haven't spoken to any yakety yak women. <laughs> I haven't spoken to any McCarthyism males. I haven't really spoken to anyone today yet. But I thought that you might find that little poem as amusing as I did. If you're offended in any way, let me apologize to you. I, my intent is not for it to be offensive. Offensive, If anything, it's to show how attitudes stay the same, and yet attitudes change. There are at least some men out there that, although they're politically correct and quiet, feel exactly like that little poem uh, says. But, since the 70s and the caring male, the loving romantic man, the majority of men know that that is not right. Know that women are lovely and wonderful and fluffy and furry and squeezy. And so, they don't feel that way. Or if they do, they're smart enough to just shut up about it. I like women. Most of the time. So for what it's worth, here's a little poem. I hope you get a smile. Please don't send me hate mail. Until next time, be well. You idiot. You are never getting laid again. <laughs>